Welcome to Walt Disney World Inside Out. The weekly show that keeps you up to date and takes you behind the scenes at Walt Disney World. Brian Leary, George Foreman, and J.D. Roth. This week, coming to you from the home of the Tower of Terror, the Disney MGM Studios. Please welcome Brian Leary, J.D. Roth, and Disney's Fife and Drum Corps for a special President's Day celebration. Front! Board! J.D. Roth. And together we're, uh, Donnie and Marie. <laughs> okay? Company! I love this. March! Oh. Inside Out. This week we're coming to you from Florida. Now we're going to take you behind the scenes and keep you up to date on all the great stuff happening right here at Disney World. We're also feeling really patriotic because this is our special All-American President's Day show. And we're very All-American. We've been <laughs> elected to be your host, so wax up your skis. We're going to be hitting the slopes at the All-American Water Park, Blizzard Beach. And on George's Corner, our co-host George Foreman has a very special President's Day surprise for us. Check really? it out. Yeah. I'm going to celebrate President's Day with all the presidents. Okay, before we go plunging into President's Day, I've got a little trivia tidbit for you. J.D., what do you think is the fastest attraction here at Walt Disney World? Come on, it's a no-brainer. It's those falling elevators at the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Well, you're right about no-brainer. <laughs> Not even close, sorry. Look, we've got savvy people here from all over the world. Let's see if any of you guys know the answer, okay? Let me see. Who might know the answer? Raise your hand. Okay, I'll go right here. This young man. What do you think is the fastest attraction here? Space Mountain. Okay. Yeah. Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain. You know what? Those are absolutely fantastic guesses. And you know what? You're 100% absolutely wrong. Wait a second. Brian, <laughs> hello. Hello. Will you tell us already the suspense is killing me? I can see it's killing you. <laughs> I'm gonna do better than that. I'm gonna show you. Here comes our ski lift now. We're skiing cross country over to the alpine regions of Disney World. Don't forget your mittens, cause it's cold up there. Here at Walt Disney World, you can take the impossible for granted. But I never thought they'd be able to create a ski resort here in the middle of the Sunshine State. Nice little bit of acting, wasn't it? <laughs> this is Blizzard Beach. 65 acres of wet fun. J.D. and I are going to show you around. Right, J.D.? J.D.? Okay, okay. Uh, Brian, I'll be there in one second. Okay, I'm just signing a couple autographs. Who's this? This is yours? celebrities like J.D. and I get hounded like this all the time. Part of the job. Hey, you guys, I'm Brian Leary. I host Inside Out, too. Hey, J.D. 
Summit Plummet, the tallest, wildest, and wettest water slide in the world. It's also got a great view. Oh, cool, there's the Dolphin Hotel. Epcot Center, there's Spaceship Earth. And uh, the Empire State Building. Just kidding. This is the place you go when you're in the mood to, oh, I don't know, climb up 120 feet, slide down on your back at 60 miles an hour. This is the fastest ride at Walt Disney World. Here you go. Thanks, JD. So straight down, huh? Straight down. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going straight down 60 miles an hour. Look out below. Did you? Oh, man, you gotta go on that ride. That is great. It is tough signing all those autographs. Yeah, I know what you mean. I had to start wearing sunglasses. I was getting mobbed. You were? Yeah. I just had to call security. Yeah. She's cute. And she's real cute. What's your name? Christine. Do you want Brian's autograph? She was on uh, Chips. Love Boat. Love Boat. Battle of the Network yeah. Stars. Uh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah? Okay. All right, go ahead. See, you got an autograph. Yeah, it's a mercy autograph. This week at Pleasure Island, Mardi Gras. Grand Marshal Chevy Chase presides over a celebration of festive costumes, performers, and spicy Cajun food in the most authentic New Orleans-style Mardi Gras this side of New Orleans. Besides this being my favorite shirt, this is also my favorite quote from Walt Disney. It says, never lose sight of one thing. All of this was started by a mouse. Not only do the Disney people never lose sight of that, they also like to keep reminding us by hiding pictures of Mickey Mouse all over the park. Now, who thinks they can find some of these pictures? Oh, you do, huh? Okay, I'll tell you what. I've got this camera. I've got some clues. I'm going to go out and find someone right now. Who in the audience thinks that they can find them? You guys do? Okay, what's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin what? McGuire. And where are you from, Caitlin McGuire? Black Sparrow. And are you having fun at Disney World? Yeah. You think you can find some hidden Mickeys? Yeah. All right, I'm putting you in charge. Here's the camera. Hold on to that. And who's the big guy next to you? My dad. Dad, what's your name? Tom McGuire. And where are you from? Foxborough, Mass. You brought your entire family to Disney World? All of us. Are you having a good time? A great time. Good. All right, let me, let me meet somebody else here. Here, you hold the microphone and take over, okay? Tell, tell everybody your name. Kayla. And is this all your hair? Yes. I think it's a nice look. You keep it up, okay? Are you mom? I certainly am. Mom, who's on your right? TJ. TJ, what's up, buddy? I'm JD. Hey, you got the same haircut as your dad. <laughs> All right, I like it. TJ, can you find some hidden Mickeys? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. All right, good, because I gave him a camera. Here's the clues right here. Now, they're going to find some hidden Mickeys. They're going to take the picture. They're going to bring them back here for the end of the show. Now, to get them started on their Mission Impossible, here's Peter Graves with the first clue. Good afternoon, McGuire family. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to uncover hidden Mickeys. Now, to do that, You'll need this clue. Try Mama Melrose's for food and libation. 
you'll spot Mickey hiding on a Dalmatian. And if for any reason your mission should fail, the secretary will disavow any knowledge of your action. This screen will self-destruct immediately. Whoa. I didn't know this was such a heavy-duty mission. Here's your clues. We wish you guys a lot of luck. Give them some energy, everybody. Go ahead, guys. Yeah. All right, by the end of the show, they're coming back here with three hidden Mickeys. I know it. Now let's cruise on over to Liberty Square at the Magic Kingdom, where George Foreman's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with all the presidents of the United States. I come to the Hall of Presidents at the Magic Kingdom for a little inspiration. Ladies and gentlemen, the presidents of the United States. George Washington, John Adams, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison. This place reminds me about what's right with America. There is nothing wrong with America that cannot be cured by what is right with America. And there is nothing wrong with the world that cannot be cured by the ideals that America represents. And a lot of what's right about our country was made right by these men. Maybe we're not there yet, but from the start, they've been trying to make a country where all men are created equal. We propose to give all a chance. We expect the weak to grow stronger, the ignorant wiser, and all better and happier together. I think I like these guys because they're fighters just like me. They fight with the Bill of Rights, I fight with the left and right. Of course, if I had my pick, it would be our first president, George Washington. In fact, all my boys are named George, George, George and George. Washington was that man who would not tell a lie. He told his father how he chopped down that cherry tree. Ladies and gentlemen, the presidents of the United States. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Happy President's Day. You guys are the real heavyweights. When we last saw the McGuire family, Peter Graves had sent them in search of Mama Melrose's Italian restaurant and their first hidden Mickey. Try Mama Melrose's for food libations. You spot Mickey hiding on okay, a Dalmatian. It's over here, I think. Come on. Where is it then? I don't know. Exactly down there. Mama Melrose's. Okay, they found New York Street. There must be an Italian restaurant nearby. Yep, there it is. Now, where would I be if I were a Dalmatian? They spotted the Dalmatian. You get it? Spotted? I love this stuff. Sorry. All right, there PJ. Is. Get a picture of that one. Awesome. We got right one. There. We got one. Way to go, McGuire's. TJ got it. What's next, Peter? Hey, good work, McGuire's. That's wonderful. All right, you ready? Now, here's your next clue. Travel to Endor if you insist, and find Mickey hiding on a robot's wrist. wrist on a robot's wrist. wrist. Okay, travel to Endor. Endor if you insist. Endor would be in be Star the Star Wars, Wars right? Star Tours. Star Tours? Let's Star Tours we just passed up yep. here, didn't we? Let's go. Let's go back. Okay. Go get Mickey number two. Good luck, guys. In the Magic Kingdom, between Fantasy and Frontierland, you'll find Liberty Square, an authentic recreation of colonial America, where our forefathers and foremothers first fought for liberty. George Washington and old Honest Abe Lincoln are American originals. Another American original is our music. Swing, jazz, big band. Actually, some people think it's our greatest contribution to the world. Make that second greatest contribution. Sorry, Mick.
ladies and gentlemen, the Hitman. There's a brand new vacation destination here at Walt Disney World where guests get to live out the experiences most people only dream about. Let's see which one of the 80 different programs J.D. has chosen today. Okay, J.D., we're going to introduce you to the Disney Institute Golf Experience. All right. We looked far and near for the uh, most exciting program we could find. When we met Gary Player and his son Wayne, we knew we had a winner. Now Gary, they teach golf here? They do, and they have a very unique approach to golf. Hey, J.D. Hey, how are you? Welcome. Now, I want to tell you, I have played some of the best golf courses poorly. Yes. Yeah, horribly. So I'm hoping that maybe you can give me a hand. Rob says you're the guy. Well, you look pretty sporty, J.D. Well, thank you. Huh? I mean, what kind of sports do you play? play a lot of basketball. Oh, you do? Okay. Um, a lot you of baseball. Play football? Play a lot. Yeah, I play football. Good. Well, then you'll be able to relate to our golf program. Really? Because we don't relate to anything else but sports. Yeah. Look at all the stuff we've got here. We've got a soccer ball. We've got a football, baseball. Where did your body go, J.D.? Forward. Where's your, where's your weight? On your right foot? Yep. Is it flat? Yeah. So why wouldn't you want to do that in golf? Golf is a basically confused individual. People say, you know, they always need spikes. See yeah. the spikes? Well, they well, use the spikes for balance and everything. Right. right, but, you know, over here we teach people, you know, if they want to play barefoot, <laughs> they can. <laughs> We're only here to hit that people hit the ball as far as they can and as straight as they can. I want to learn how to play golf. I don't want to learn how to clean the house. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's positive is that way. Most golfers want to hit off their back foot, and that's caused a lot of lower back troubles. Keep the body going. Oh, man, we can do some work with you here. I tell you, I learned more about golf in one day than I learned in 20 years. It's your right foot. Right up his back foot. But I have to go. I, that's I'm not, not a very good example. I mean, everyone needs a little <laughs> bit of a warm-up, you know? Come on. Oh! See that, J.D.? I could that talk. is a bump. Does that look any good? OK? I can pick up that right foot, hold my hands up in triumph. Did it, man. Oh, man. He just taught me how to hit this ball a mile. And my dad, who said I'd only be a good golfer in my dreams, well, Pop, it's now a reality. Check this out. <laughs> That's the way. Hold the guy, hold that finish. Ho! Oh. Man, give us five. Nice. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> hey, Pop, eat your heart out. <laughs> Okay, so now let's catch up with the McGuire family and see if they've discovered another hidden Mickey. Okay, McGuire's, remember the clue. Travel to Endor if you insist. You'll find Mickey hiding on a robot's wrist. Robot? On his wrist, though. Now they just have to find a robot. Could be around here somewhere. Maybe inside. Inside? All right, let's go check inside. Hey, they heard me. There's a zillion robots in there, but only one has Mickey on its wrist. Check down here. Excuse me. Hello. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. That's a robot, all right. It looks like it's over there on his wristwatch. On his wrist? Yep. Oh, yeah, Mickey Watch. Yes, bingo. That's it. I like it. You get to meet a lot of 
Okay, Peter, where to next? All right, now here's your final clue. At Rosie's Red Hots, her dogs have no peers, but her riveters gauges hide a mouse head and ears. All right, so it's gotta be a hot dog place. A hot dog place, yep. All right, Rosie's Hot Dog. Oh, and uh, pick me up one of the Red Hots, will you? Uh, heavy on a relish. So okay. we're gonna head back to the tower, towards the Tower of Terror. That way. This way. No, 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 no hot peppers. A uh, little mustard, that'd be fine. That's two down, one more Mickey to go. Mr. Foreman, Mr. Foreman. Ah, uh, Mr. Washington. Uh, about that cherry tree thing you spoke about earlier, you see, it never really happened. Are you kidding me? George, would I lie to you? Actually, Martha's sent some cookies from Mount Vernon for you oh. and the Georges. Uh, George, too? <laughs> yes, and George. Oh, yeah, and George. <laughs> <laughs> We're soaring to Epcot's World Showcase and the China Pavilion, where they not only serve up delicacies from nine different Chinese provinces, they serve up some of the most amazing and unusual entertainment in the world. Here I am, right in China, getting ready to watch the acrobatic show. It's going on right now. Now, the Chinese are known for their great wall, their great food, their great acrobats, and I've got a great treat for the show. You're about to see the best acrobatic show around. It's the Spring Acrobat Live at Walt Disney World. Yeah! How do you pick these acrobats? Okay, I went to China, the two, went to many different provinces to find the feel of them. And uh, some act Acrobats perform, I find, in the States. What makes a great Chinese acrobat? One more, just practice. Jenny, you like the show? What do you like about it? A lot? You like everything? <laughs> Let's head over to the Disney MGM Studios to catch up with the McGuire family on their quest to find that holy grail of Walt Disney World, the Hidden Mickey. They're rushing to Rosie's, the hot dog stand on Sunset Boulevard. Just follow your noses, guys. Yeah. Take a left. Follow Kara. She knows where she's going. Where? Which right way, over there. Did you see a sign? Red hot dog. Oh, okay, great. They found Rosie's. Now, can they find Mickey's? Is there a sign up there? Riveter's gauges. Yeah. Nothing up there? You sure? 